Aloha Persimus, Mr. C here again with another video for your director drawing. This time, because you're reading Charlotte's Web, we're going to start with Wilbur. Here we go. First thing we're going to do, somewhere around the center of your paper, we're going to draw an upside down C or a sideways C. And then from one of the other ends, you're going to curve down, up and around, and down again. This is going to be Wilbur's nose. <clears throat> Inside his nose, you want to draw a little teardrop. So you start with a point, come around underneath, and you curve up to the point again. And then you can color those in, in black. Now, you should be drawing with pencil to start with, <clears throat> and then you can go over the lines with your Sharpie and draw them in black, and then erase your lines with pencil. Or, sorry, erase the pencil lines. Now, let's put a little wrinkle in his nose. Start about here, and just draw a little curve. And then on that curve, start down a little bit, draw another curve. And on, on that curve, start down a bit, draw another little curve, like that. Now, right about here, you're going to draw a circle, like that. And then follow his top of his nose, go over here, and draw another circle, like that. And on, terp on top of the circle, <coughs> you're going to draw like an S, so it touches the eye, and then comes down like that. And then a little line underneath. Same over here, just above the circle, just a little curve down, around like that, and then a little line underneath. <clears throat> and then another part of the eye, just a little curve to follow this one, just a little bit above, and the same over here. And then way up here, this is his eyebrow. We're going to do another curve, like that, and one over here. Okay? Now just above this eyebrow, i got to move the camera a little bit here. Just above this eyebrow, do a little curve over, down, and then come all the way around and scoop down about there. And then back up to this line. Just curve around and stop right about equal with the end of that eyebrow. Now let's do his ear. Right about here, see where this, his nose ends, so up there, start, and you're going to curve in, out, and stop there, make a point. Right about where his eyebrow is, curve in, around, and up to that point. Now, starting at that point, curve out, in, out, down to the line, and stop. And then we'll add one more little curve there. And that's one ear. Now on this side, start right about where you had that line finished and where the eyebrow is. I'm going to curve so up, curve down, and a little 
tweak like that. And about halfway in that line, curve down, around, and up, and stop. I'm going to pause a little bit so you can catch up to me there. Now, where you stopped here, you're going to draw a little curve and pretend this line comes down. Don't draw it. It's going to stop right about there. There we go. And then come down to this part and draw the same kind of line and you're going to stop right about there. Here we go. Okay. Now, because he's got some hair and kind of furry, we're going to add a little zigzag in between. And I'll stop at that line. Now we're going to add the bottom part of his ear. Start here, curve around, and stop in line with the zigzag. Looking pretty good. Now let's get the bottom part of his jaw. We're going to start here and we're going to curve around like that. Here we go. Okay. Now let's do the fun part. Let's do his mouth. So start right about the in bottom of the left side of his nose, and you can draw a curve uh, down and around, up and down and up again. Here we go. So down, up, down, up, and put a little bracket on it. And right about here, you draw a little curvy line like that. And another curvy line there. And add a little curvy line that starts here and goes around like that. <clears throat> now the other part of his mouth, the bottom part, you start here. And curve down, around, touch that line, come up, and right back to where you ended your bracket. Sorry, my camera's getting away from me here. Okay, now we're going to add his bottom lip. Start here, and you're going to curve around and stop. That. Now up here, add one more little line parallel with this one. Okay, and now we're going to color, fill in this part just to the lines, don't go over the lines. And even this little triangle, fill that in, like that. And my line got a little light there, so I'm going to go over that. There we go. That's the beginning of mostly Wilbur's face. Now let's give him the back of his head a little bit here, a little curve. And then his back here. Another big curve, like that. So we're just going to focus on his face. We're not going to do his whole body. And over here, we can draw the front, a little bit of his chest, and a little bit of one of his legs. And here would be the top of a leg, and the other side of his leg two big brackets there. And there is Wilbur's face. But what is Wilbur looking at? Well, guess who he's looking at? <clears throat> Draw a line here. 
straight down <clears throat> to kind of big oval. Then a slightly smaller oval. Then a tinier little half circle underneath. Guess who that is? Yep, that's Charlotte. <clears throat> so the middle circle, you're going to draw the legs. So you're going to curve two legs up and two legs down. And on the other side, two legs up and two legs down. Again, coming from the middle. If you want to, you could put a couple of eyes in there. There you go. There's Wilbur meeting Charlotte. And when you're all done and you're ready, you've raced all your, you've traced over it with your Sharpie, erased all your pencil marks, then you can color Wilbur. Now you can color Wilbur and Charlotte with anything you like. You could use markers. I use pencil crayons. You could paint Wilbur. Whatever that you'd like to do. Sometimes crayon or uh, oil pastel is nice. Now for the grade fours and fives or um, those who want to do a little more of a challenge. Let's make Wilbur's face a bit more round. We're going to add a bit more shadow. Now I'm just using the same pink that I had. And I'm coloring, just pushing a little bit harder, just around the edges, to get it a bit darker. And for the grade fives or fours, you have to pretend where the light is. So I'm pretending the light is coming in this direction. And it's shining on Wilbur's face. So the shadow is going to be around the edges. Now you don't want to leave a sharp line like that, so you're going to blend it, push a little lighter, kind of blend it in, and give Wilbur a nice round chubby cheek. A little bit up here. And to blend in your edges, don't leave them too sharp. Like that. Around his, oops, sorry, around his ear. It's hard to draw and hold the camera at the same time. And this behind part will probably be all shadow. So it's a little bit darker. And under here, it gives the effect of his ear or his face being a bit rounder, not just flat. Right? Of course, back here, it's going to be the shadow of his head coming onto his body. So this is all going to be a little bit darker. Now, another trick. If you want to start mixing colors, take a gray, or I have a black, and just very lightly, very lightly, use that to make your shadow. <clears throat> Maybe even under here I could add a little bit of black or gray to add some more shadow. <clears throat> Don't forget 
it is a pink pig, so a darker pink and a little bit of gray mixed together makes it for a really nice shadow look. Now I'm pushing very lightly because I have black. I'm not using gray. Mm. <clears throat> mm, maybe over here too. Oops, all right. Just very, very lightly. I still want to see pink. I don't want to cover it up. <clears throat> I want to see pink. So there we are. There's Wilbur looking at Charlotte. Have fun. Next up, I'll do a big Charlotte.